Hello everyone, and thank you so much for joining us as we continue our D&D campaign across Delos. And just a reminder, we do play this live on Twitch, so if you ever want to see any of the shenanigans unfold right as they happen, feel free to come join us. I always put a link to the stream down in the description below. And also a reminder that all of our players are fellow streamers. They are all amazing uh, content creators, so please go check them out on Twitch. You won't regret it. So just one little note with these next several videos. Uh, normally what I'll do is I'll, I'll go through them all, all the way, start to finish, and do a lot of editing as far as like cutting out coughs, rules, you know, things like that, just to kind of help speed it along. Uh, and so it's just kind of like the straight D&D goodness. However, what's kind of happened is, is I've got this really big backlog of videos, and I feel really bad because I haven't been able to get them out to y'all. So what I'm going to do is just essentially just upload them, just sort of raw, no editing, aside from maybe chopping off the front and the, the back of it, just because there's just a lot of like banter and goofing around with chat and with the group that doesn't really pertain to the session um, and that way we can kind of get all these videos uploaded and then after that I'm going to try to go back to editing them all again but we'll kind of see just because of again they, they take me a little too long to get through uh, but we'll kind of see what my time constraints are when that time comes but enough of that we're going to get right to it what are you guys what are you guys doing you guys are standing on the deck of the ship uh the sea lass. With a tied up fish person. There's a tied up fish person. What are you guys uh, doing? Are we supposed to see the map or the world map? Uh oh, map? one second. Either is fine, I'm just asking just to be sure. Oh there it is. Oh. There's the cool boat. The boat. All of the dead fish. Fish people. Cool water. Um, Corpses and all. Yeah. Ooh, that's He's, super cool. Yeah, the fish boy's uncaught. He would have to be unconscious <laughs> for us to tie him, right? Yeah, you guys knocked him out. I believe so. Yeah. Good. Does anyone have any ideas as to what exactly you want to ask him? Hmm. That's a good name too. I like Rue. Oh, that's right. He's tied to it tied to the mast. Very huh? well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what we do with him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm sure, I'm sure we know who sent them. Yeah. Does he speak common? All I need. Is for him to understand common. If he doesn't speak it, that is perfectly fine. But we'll find out whenever he wakes up. Possibly. Just splash water on him or something. Punch him. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys see you guys see Varian punch the unconscious fish man <laughs> and his eyes kind of flutter <laughs> open. Uh, and he's just like blah, 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 blah. Well, that... His little like gills on the side of his his neck are kind of like wiggling. He, he's looking a little dried out. Um. Hello, Honestly, fish man. <laughs> hey, you, you speak common. It, uh, it's gonna sh shake his head. The well. Wait. But you understand. Understands <laughs> <laughs> so he so he understands it okay maybe maybe if we just ask him yes or no questions then i mean oh god and then he can just see. nod or shake his head i'll <clears throat> i'll open my my spell book hold on oh. oh voice dying um open my spell book and i'm afraid say, i'll i'll need i'll need 10 minutes for a spell, and I'll be understand. I'll be able to understand what he says. But you can ask him questions while I prepare it. Take your time. All right. And I'll, as a ritual, I'll cast a uh, comprehend language. Ooh, nice. Good idea. All right. In the meantime, uh... Uh, Varian, uh, let's see. Yes or no questions. Do you like pie? That's a good question. It's just gonna kind of like tilt its head. 
<laughs> and I just kind of knows what pie is. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, Ibrin, uh, Alarin, if you've never had pie in your life before, what kind of pie would you want to have first? Well, are, are we trying to like, are we trying to like w win this? Are we trying to win this creature's trust? Because then you. He might be tempted by some sort of like he's a he's a creature of the deep, right? So he probably eats like sea things. So maybe some sort of like sea pie. What is a sea pie? What is a sea pie? Like kelp cake. That sounds like a scalp pie. <laughs> I don't know how specific <laughs> this this magical this, I high five uh <laughs> That's a good one. Hey. <laughs> That's a good one. <clears throat> I don't think this one can make pie uh, cakes, but you know, uh, uh, I, I like that. I well, like that. It probably, it probably it's like raw. I mean, it probably it's just raw fish, fish? Like, right? Dubs. So maybe like a, a raw fish pie, seafood pie. I don't know. Maybe just give it a sh give it a shot. Is that not like cannibalism? Well, I mean, I fish mean, eat fish, right? Yeah. What, do, what oh, else do fish yeah. eat? They eat other fish. Fish, algae, um, plankton, which I think is also an right. essential type of fish. The weird crustaceanish. You <laughs> fish boy. Oh. Starting your prediction, if you guys if you guys want that would be kind of interesting. Thank you for the resub, Captain. Fish I love out. you. Do you eat fish? <clears throat> it's gonna uh be like and then kinda nod its head at you a little kind of slowly. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, Captain? <laughs> what the heck? Sorry, did I was I pressing push to talk when I said that? Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yes. Ooh, I like this prediction, Cast, Steve. Cast I'm going to be trying real hard tonight. Yeah. <laughs> All right. For, <laughs> I'm not reading that out loud. I already put in 100 points, so we got to make it happen. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, but feel free to predict you know yes what? or I no have, if the party will make me face bomb tonight. <laughs> Captain, I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's put a... in 1K for no. One K for no. But okay. yeah, had I accidentally, I accidentally put in twenty. <clears throat> I wanted to put in like twenty K. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to change it. <laughs> you really can. I don't think you can vote again once you vote. That's okay. Yeah. Sixty nine. Uh, What's up, Ronnie? All right. So he eats fish. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe he'll be more likely to talk if we like give him a little something. Have you had food in the past eight hours? It's gonna shake its head. No. So these little these cultist people don't feed you? Uh it, <laughs> it <laughs> shakes its head. Assuming cultists send them. <laughs> I love you, Captain. You know that's true. They could have just found this purple cloak. <laughs> There's a possibility. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Uh, let me think of what kind of uh, pie would be. Have you? Can you eat chocolate? I don't think fish can eat chocolate, but you know, I might still ask them. It's it's gonna kind of like tilt its head and just. Like, it has no clue what chocolate is. <clears throat> Maybe it's gonna like it. Possibly. But okay. That also uh, has the possibility to kill it. As you're like, before you start saying kill it, I'm just gonna put my mouth, uh, my mouth, my hand over your mouth. There we go. Uh, <laughs> hand over your mouth just to kind of stop you from saying that. As I lean in to both uh, Alan and Nyla. What if we question it for any form of advice and we give it the chocolate pie? If it dies, 
So be it. If 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 it stays alive and it likes chocolate pie, then it likes chocolate pie. <laughs> I got my hand uh, <laughs> off of your mouth, Aaron. Sounds like a plan to Oh me. my god! <laughs> Fish boy! It'll god. look at you. Do, do you crave the delicacies of man on land? <laughs> uh... <laughs> it's gonna kind of look at you and kind of, like... But, like, kind of hungry. And it's gonna slowly nod. Well, there you have it. Alright. If if you answer these mm. questions, um, in how many more minutes is it until you're ready, Nyla? I don't know. Has it been ten minutes? <laughs> um, yeah, we'll we'll say it's been about ten minutes because you guys have had a few asides talking about the pies. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, I'll look over to uh, Varian and say I, it should it should be ready by now. Perfect. If you uh, answer these questions, then we shall serve you some of the most de uh, intricate delicacies on land. And you better be truthful. Okay, it's just gonna, it's just gonna nod, like blah, 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 as it you know talks fish person to you. <laughs> and I understand that though. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, we dropped your spell in the, in the chat for me. Yeah. <clears throat> I can speak Santa. it back, but that's why I wanted to know uh, if it no comments. That is a massive water ball, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is! Captain gave it it's to me. Been, got it's me. fantastic. I that's love awesome. it. Uh, 64 ounces. Oh, shit. Uh, the literal meaning of any spoken language you hear, you also understand your written language, you see, but you touch something. Okay. Oh, okay. So you understand. You can. You can. It's a one way though. You. So you understand what it's saying. But yes. <clears throat> I see. Um. So it, it, in fish, man, it's just he's just like all. Oh. <clears throat> um. I. It just. He said I agree to these terms. You know, oh, like, I'll look over to the blue really and say, "Yep, yeah, yeah, it seems to agree." I'm trying to think of like a good voice for a fish man. Okay, if, if your ritual is completed, Nyla, and you can understand it, then you ask the questions. I mean, anyone can ask questions that he can understand common. That's true. I've, made, made I've definitely thing. made a mistake <laughs> letting him understand common. So we know we know they're. Uh. Fish boy. What purpose. What what goal did the cultists send you here to accomplish? Um, <clears throat> did you you didn't did you tell him that you could understand him? Did yeah. you just, oh, you did. Okay. Uh, so he'll kind of mull it over, and he's gonna look at Nyla, um, <clears throat> and you you know the rest of you guys here, you know, blah, 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 but Nyla hears um. Uh, uh, we we were sent to 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 cause chaos to to take down some of the boats. Um, I'll relay the information to the group by saying that um, well, they were sent to send uh, to cause chaos and uh, destroy boats, but Fish Boy, do you know who exactly sent you? I'll, well, I'll need a name. Uh, pur purple robed ones. That's it. I just nod. No name. Oh. Can I? Is it possible to roll insight on that to see if he's being? Yeah. Deceptive. Let's see. Okay. Um. You. You feel like he's telling the truth. Okay. He doesn't seem to they, know any names. They sent you here just to cause chaos. There was no specific target for <clears> you to it. You were instructed to attack or any 
specific person you were sent here to attack? Just just sent to cause chaos to to stop boats. Boats. That seems like a very strange request from the the cultists. I feel like the only reason that they would have to do something like that that doesn't seem to further their agenda at all is if they knew what we were first. doing. Yeah. But it sounds like this creature wasn't told any details. They might not have even told them to attack our party directly. They might have just instructed them to, to try and hinder our progress as much as possible. Yeah, and you guys will you guys would remember that during the fight there was there were fish people kind of all along the docks. It wasn't just your only your boat. Right. <clears throat> right. Maybe maybe it's cause like you said, chaos but also prevent trade and make the city a little bit more irrelevant. True. But I wonder what they'd hope to accomplish just by generalized mayhem. Uh, Can we give him more info, chat? Fishman, what did these what did these men in robes promise you in payment for your attack? Uh, he, you look at Nyla again, um, and, uh, kind of get a little solemn, and he's like, promised our people would be spared when the Great One rises again. What? And for the sake of simplicity, I'll, I'll just, uh, repeat whenever he speaks. Yeah. Word by word. Great one. Who is this great one that you speak of? Uh, ancient being, uh, <clears throat> that is supposed to rival the gods. Titan. It sounds like it. Is this a, is this being a deity to you, or something that is feared, or both? A little of both. Were you the Would only they... ones that were sent here? Yes. <clears throat> as far as I know, they do not give much information. We are but pawns to them. But I had to do whatever I could to hopefully secure the future of my people. I don't know if we'll get much more information out of out of this one. Seems like nothing but a, a soldier doing his who is following orders. It's one of the many pawns, I'm sure. And I feel like being a creature of the sea might be almost impossible to find whoever was in charge of him or who might be able to give us answers. How far did you... How far did you travel to get here? Far. We leave, We live in the deep ocean, away from most boats. <clears throat> How did they come in contact with you, then? <sighs> They managed to capture one of our own, and uh, they they got information from him. They were able to find our uh, one of our cities. They found one of your cities even under the surface of the ocean. <clears throat> yes, they used some kind of magic to to meet with us underwater. Sounds like these cultists have even more 
resources at their disposal than we originally thought. They do seem to have a lot of influence over not just the people of the land, but also the sea. Were there instructions to cause dis disruption like this at other harbors? Uh, it's going to kind of shake its head and say, I, I don't know. I only know what they told us to do. Any other questions? Nothing I can think of. No, Sammy doesn't seem to know much. Promised. Um, <laughs> I... The... Absolute most gaudy looking pie, like... Um, 24 karat, like... <laughs> edible gold foil hey, um, yo. kind of pie. I don't know what kind of feelings and whatnot would be there, but just the most expensive, uh, uh, exotic, and just super gaudy looking pie uh, just apparates in the pie tin for today. <laughs> and I will... <laughs> Do you guys want to release... Uh... Sorry, what, what was what was your name? Um, <clears throat> it's gonna kind of ponder it for a second. <clears throat> um, and uh, he'll say, "My my name is probably too difficult in your tongue, but you could just call me Scar." Scar. Well, Scar the fishy boy. Scar, I wish we would have met under better circumstances, and I apologize for everything that happened, <clears throat> but at the very least, here is a little bit of something. And I'll kind of untie him and hand him the, the pie tin. Yo, thank you for the bit! So we can, uh, so they can devour it. Oh yeah, it'll greedily just like, just devour it in seconds, this is like... You kind of hand him the pie, and you see his little fish eyebrows, like, shoot up in surprise, and he just, like, goes to town. There's <laughs> pie, like, flying everywhere as he's, like, shoveling it into his face. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, when it's gone, hey, well, we'll hand the pie tin back. Thank you. I'm gonna, like, bend down, like, kneel down. Thank you for the bits, Hannah. Like, I close. appreciate you. Oh. Give him a All right, now listen to me, <coughs> and I'm going to speak very close, very slowly, so you understand. It's going to kind of like gulp and give you a slow nod. He looks very nervous. Oh. You will return to your people. You will tell them that you are the only survivor from this attack, but that it was a success. That the harbor has been thrown into turmoil boats were destroyed and no more ships no ships are coming and no more can leave for the moment He's, he'll nod as he's saying that can I take a look around the dock to see if there's any other um, of these road figures that could be either like looking along the, the city or hiding in like a crowd or anything like that Uh, yeah roll me a perception check Oh boy. Oh boy. Parmesan Swiss cheese. <laughs> uh, as you kind of like scan the area, you see, you know, there's there's a few ships that, that look like they're a little worse for wear. Like there were some fires on them. Um, you see a few people kind of dragging bodies to the shore uh, from the boats. Um, but you don't see any purple rope figures out there. Okay. Doesn't mean they're not there, though. <laughs> That's all for me. Now. We are on a journey. A jir we are on a journey to stop these robed figures. 
to stop them from summoning this great <coughs> one who you and your people fear. And it so it is in your best interest if we succeed. And if something happens to us on the remainder of our journey, then I promise that we will use everything in our power to come and find you. I should you mention I should mention that frogs were in a similar situation as yours where they were doing things for their own people following the wrong lead and we did slaughter all of them it looks and terribly we, frightened of you <laughs> we will do the same for your kind if we if we see you here again attacking once more or trying to do anything against us it's like profusely sweating <laughs> it's just like <laughs> okay Please don't kill me. And let like, me reiterate. Fish eyes are like we on a swivel, like looking from all of you, like just from one to another. <clears throat> and let me reiterate. If we are successful in our mission, there will be nothing to fear from this great one. And the purple robed figures will torment you and your people no more. And you might even be hailed as a hero oh. if it is discovered that you are the ones who helped keep it from happening and saved your people from these figures. Those are those are some kind words, but all all I need is for my people to live. I will pick whatever side is the winning side. Smart <laughs> choice. And I'm just gonna like pick him up by like the scruff his the rubbery scruff of his neck and just like hoist him into the air with one hand and just toss him overboard uh into the water. <laughs> <laughs> just a loud splash as he sort of like quickly disappears underneath the surface. It's just like a really loud belly flop, but just yeah <laughs> oh no. And he had like one HP, so he'd take one damage. Yeah. And just, goes. <laughs> he just goes unconscious again. He just sank like a rock. <laughs> he's uh, yeah, but he's out of sight. <laughs> I take it we were finished with that one. I think so. <laughs> sure. I don't think there was anything else we could gain from him. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> oh. Smells like fish. Dead fish. Now, I would say we could have fish for dinner, but I feel like this is slightly fucked up if we do. <laughs> There's plenty of the dunks for you if you want. <clears throat> to be fair, I think the smell of this scene has ruined my appetite. It's not fair. <laughs> yeah. We have to take stock of the situation. See how many of the crew are still still with us. And if the boat is even ready to go, or if it's too damaged. Uh, as you guys are talking about that, Captain Maynard will kind of approach you, sort of shakily. Um, he's kind of like wiping some like fish slime off his sleeve, and he's just like, ah, glad to see you guys made it. Thanks for Thanks for the help. That was a little dicey. Captain. I. We may have bought ourselves a, a brief reprieve from f future attacks, but we must take advantage of it and set sail as soon as possible. I wouldn't mind that. I don't want to stay on these cursed docks any longer. I'd like to get back home. Is there... We can help you gather the crew if need be and take stock of the ship. <clears throat> I 
Uh, I'll send I'll send one of the other crew to go run off and and collect a few lads that are hopefully uh, somewhere on the shore, and uh, we can we can set sail immediately. With your guys' help, we were able to clear off all of the fishmen before the boat was really damaged. That's good. If there's anything else you need in town, now would be a good time to go grab it before we go. Hmm. I'm ready to depart whenever. Me as well. I literally have nothing else I could possibly buy. I only have one gold on me. <laughs> so I'm good to go. He'll nod and uh, he'll send a, a crewman to the shore and, uh, you know, an hour or so later. Uh, they're, they're all, everybody's back and ready to roll. Uh, Alan, was there anything else you wanted to do on shore before they left? No. Okay. All right, with that, we uh, get the sails unfurled, and you guys continue. That's the wrong map. That's the right map. <laughs> 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 that poor shopkeeper in that first map you showed. There we go. Uh, and you, you guys were headed to... The Adelpho Islands, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Alright. You guys you guys you get, get to set sail. We Um <clears throat> Is there anything specific you guys want to do on the ship as you guys travel along? Um Let's see. You guys would be able to take a long rest. Oh sweet. Yeah, let's long rest, yeah. A long rest sounds pretty great. You should all be... is gonna be so long. You guys should all be what level five now, right? Yeah. Great. Wait, so. are we level five? We are. Oh, I forgot to level up. I'll do that right now. I think we rolled for hip. I think I, we all rolled for hit points at the end of the last. Yeah, you guys yeah. did. Yeah. At the yeah. end of that combat session. All right. So while we're doing this, I'm gonna level up real fast. Okay. Let me take HP. Uh, was anything, uh, sorry, was, did you guys say there was anything specific you guys wanted to do during the journey, or try to smooth you guys uh, along? For the most part, I'll just take notes of what happened, and do a little sketch in my in my notebook of the fish people. Oh, you should take note of this. They can have... Shit, I don't even know what kind of ingredients are in that. Hold on. Um... <laughs> <laughs> they can have very Expensive. fancy pie. Okay. I mean, you guys Probably. tossed him overboard shortly after he ate. You don't know what kind of effects that pie had on that poor fish man. Uh, let's he's not fine. Much about he's it. alive. Sure he's he's fine. He, might, he might get cramps from eating this. <laughs> he did, he did the eat pretty fast. Which was both impressive, but terrifying as well. A little bit, yes. But it, it... I think I had a little bit of split on me from the, from the pie. <laughs> oh, I did level up. Okay, never mind. I only got one thing, so it was easy. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I'm just uh, taking some time to rest, take some note, draw out, sketch, and spend most of my time, uh, if possible, on my broom so I don't get seasick. Okay. Again. <laughs> well, that's okay. smart. That is pretty. That's pretty genius. <coughs> um, no. Okay. Uh, over the trip, I would go find um, Alaran. Oh. And just kind of probably, probably on your own little uh, little cabin area, and just kind of a nice little knock on the door. Come in. Hey. <laughs> Do you have time? Sound. <laughs> Do you have I'm time sorry. to okay. talk a little bit? No, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, close the door behind me. Um, God, here's my. Oh no. Oh, oh there no. it is. Okay. <laughs> so 
I heard, so you, you're a sailor, correct? I am, or was. Okay. What, what ship did you sail on? Oh. oh god, where is it? I haven't looked at my backstory in a hot minute. <laughs> um... The, uh, the ship that I was on was the, uh, the, uh, the Alexei. The Alexei? Alexei. Mm -hmm. wow. I've never heard of that one before. Um, where mostly did that, um, uh, take travels from? Look at my backstory. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the backstory time. <clears throat> I actually met them for the first time in a uh, in in Thalassa. Uh, oh, yeah. The less less uh, less chaotic that time. Yeah, no cloaked um, cultists running around trying to destroy the ship. Yeah, exactly. That's good. That's good. Sailing I... mostly around this area and oh. the western part of the island. Oh, nice. The Not <clears throat> well, if you think about it, the continent, is just a very large island. Fair enough. I have a question. Have you ever heard of a ship called La Marina? Um, I can't say I have. Okay. Is that the one that you were on? Yeah. Um, yeah. Back in my hometown at um, Port Valence, um, that was the ship I was a part of for a good amount of time, um, but it's no longer here. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly happened. That, <clears throat> I don't blame you for that one. Um, I have no idea where my uh, ship and my old crew are now. Not that I particularly want to come across a new captain, but... Oh? Pain in my ass. <laughs> just, uh, yeah. absolute uh, asshole, or just... I'm... I mean... Yeah, kinda. Pretty much. It's a long story, but... Well... It is a long trip. If you ever want to talk about it, you know where to find me. But I will say this. If we come across them and they start being an asshole, well, you have more friends to take care of them. <laughs> Thank you. The Very good. The captain. New uh. captain. Uh. Not so much. We'll deal with them if we have to. Thank you. I'll see you later. Take care. Me too. Very. Nay. Nice. Leave. That's so pretty much it for me. As you guys are kind of finishing up your talk, you hear a bell ring. There are seven short rings followed by one long ring, uh, and you guys know that that is uh, the sound of emergency on sailing vessels. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> run up top deck. Yep. I will run right along behind Varian. I come, like, barreling up onto the deck. 
I swear, if it's fish, if it's <laughs> that fish, that fish is back. Uh, you I mean, don't fish then. <laughs> it's fucked up. You guys, uh, <clears throat> you guys see some of the sailors kind of uh, hurrying to and like, uh, kind of like scurrying around. Uh, somebody's pointing. Uh, Captain Maynard has got an eyeglass. I don't know, he sees you guys and goes, ah, <clears throat> there's a ship out there. Uh, and they're flying the, the, the flags. They need help. Another ship is in distress. I turn to Ibrin. So you guys, see, you guys see them flying these flags. The sailing party knows that uh, those are the flags of like extreme distress. Okay. Um, I will turn to Ibrin. I swear to fucking god, if you're right and it's these damn fish again, I am going to be so pissed. I'm gonna jump in the ocean and swim down to the city <laughs> myself if it is. Oof. Well, let's make haste. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Captain Maynard, you can't trust you. He's like, we're gonna, we're gonna have to, to pull up alongside it. Maybe we can't ignore a, a call for help. Um, and as you guys kind of approach the ship, you notice this sort of like dense fog rolling in. Uh, and, and Maynard's giving orders. You know, it's like, ah, you know, lash, lash us to our lads. Uh, and once you guys have secured to the other boat, uh, he drops a gangplank across. Did you, uh, Maynard, did you happen to see any form of uh, activity that was happening to the boats? Any personnel on board? Yo, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Uh, that's that's the distressing part. I didn't see anybody on the on the top deck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn to the captain. Captain, captain, captain keep your men at the ready. Stay in guard on the. Oh, here, give me one we don't know I'm what to expect over there. Really weird echoes, and it's on me. Let's see if I fix it. All right, we're good. Sorry. Uh, sorry, Bear. Can you say that again? Oh, everything was echoing was just... for me for some reason. <clears throat> Captain Maynard, keep your men on this side. We'll go across ourselves. We can't risk any of the crew after the attack at the harbor. Just be at the ready and be and don't let anyone come across that gangplank unless it's with us i appreciate it i don't i don't like how this feels it's weird to not see anybody above above deck but there's got to be somebody there if they hoisted the flags i'll turn to the others Are we, we ready no time I suppose to press so. well i suppose i'll lead the way so this and, uh, map is going to be a little bit there's a there's a lot going on but I'm gonna drop you guys in. No. Nope. There we go. Fancy. Fancy boat. Boat. I like the boat. <clears throat> it's boating time. <laughs> um, a lot of the doors aren't highlighted very nicely, uh, so I'll try and kind of point them out as best as I can. Sure. Uh, but. Oh god. Push to talk. Uh, as you guys sort of <clears throat> walk across the gangplank onto the boat, uh, you notice that it's sort of eerily quiet. Uh, you can hear the sound of the ship kind of creaking. The the, the rigging is is <clears throat> kind of swinging in the wind, but you notice the sails are slack. Uh, but somehow the flags are still flapping in the wind. <clears throat> um, some of the railing and siding of the ship looks damaged. Uh, and you don't see anybody in sight as you step across. Um, can I? Uh, where where do we put our, our token? Uh, you guys would be like right. Oh, you guys wait. <coughs> We're like right around there. Sounds good. Put myself there. Can I roll perception to see if there was like any kind of sign of a struggle? Yeah. Or a fight. Yeah, go for it. Any, anybody can roll for it. Hi, Mischievous. Uh, where is it? Where is 
that's it. You hold 20. And 19. Some big rolls. Uh, so you guys are going to notice a few things. Um, first off, you're going to notice that there are some lifeboats boats stacked on the deck. Uh, however, this one has two stacked upon it. Uh, and this one you notice only has one. Uh, and it looks like what, it, there was another one stacked there at one point, because there's kind of like markings and scrapings on the top of it. So it looks like maybe one is missing. And you see kind of a piece of fragrant, fa fabric torn off on the boat. Uh, something else you notice is on the deck, you see these like small, like little circular markings kind of along the base, the floorboards. Kind of just in random areas. Do we all see this or is this... Uh, this, this is something that Nyla and Alarin kind of yeah. noticed with their perception okay. checks. Um, I don't like it. We might be too late. I'm assuming whoever, yeah, yeah, whoever was asking for help maybe left by then. Either left or if there is one boat missing. Yeah. Uh, something that Alarin and Varen would know is that a, a, a crew that would have to sail the sides of the ship would definitely need more than one mm -hmm. boat to get away. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Question is, what happened to the rest of the crew? Um, where... How close is that kind of uh, fog now? It's It's kind of like all around you. You can just barely make out your ship through it. Cool. Okay. Let's let us check the uh Can I the captain's cabin first, I suppose. It's so just let's see, I'm trying to see, okay. Door wise, there is a door right here you cannot see. It sort of like leads into under here, whatever this this deck is. And we'll check here. Varian, are you familiar with these types of ships? Maybe you should lead the way. Should be doors here as well. Shadow close as well. Let's go. Uh, can I cast light on my carrot? Just so that if we get separated, I'm like more visible. Yes. I mean, it's been a little bit since I've been on a ship this big, but uh, mostly captain's quarters are tend to be towards the back end of it. Um, I'll start to make my way uh, to the door back here. Uh, as you guys kind of step farther into the ship, <clears throat> you start to see like frost creep along the uh, the floor. And you're able to see uh, puffs of your breath in the sudden chill in the air. Uh, and all of a sudden, the ship seems alive with sailors. Uh, however, they appear uh, ethereal. And they just seem to be going about their business as if they were just sailing normally. Uh, paying no mind to you guys. <clears throat> and you're able to hear some voices. I'm coming from towards the main mast. Uh, and you hear well, one guy say, <clears throat> Captain! Some of us feel a little uneasy about our guests. <clears throat> and uh, the g guy with a, a big hat and a feather in it, you would assume would be, you know, your typical your typical captain, uh, kind of turns on him and goes, Look, whether we like it or not, they're paying us double. We will soon be rid of them as, uh, as soon as we touch land. And another, pi another pirate will, or um, another sailor will kind of pipe up and go, Captain, their cargo seems... A little odd. Some of the lads are saying that they hear something moving inside. My captain will turn to him and go, Enough! And as soon as he says that, the ethereal sailors dissipate. Oh, boy. All right. I 
I'm gonna Lovely. turn to the others. You all saw that, right? And heard that? I sure did. Yup. So... A ship transporting suspicious cargo. But yep. what could have done this to them? What could have... What has the power to do this to an entire vessel? I'm not going to lie, I don't really want to find out. Honestly, <sighs> me neither. I don't like it. Just be on your guard. Right to the door back here. Let's see if it uh, opens up. Okay, uh, that door is going to open. Uh, you guys are going to be out. Oh. Over here. Oh. It's going to be, it's good. This maps, this maps a lot. It's going to be, uh, I couldn't find a less confusing, really good map. So here we are. All right. You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> I, I get what you mean. <laughs> it's, been, it's been an hour <laughs> learning where all these doors go. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be posted staying outside. Up outside right here. Yeah, staying outside, peeking in, but not going in just yet. A little bit shook, shook by um, the vision of the ghosts or whatever it were. Okay. Uh, as you guys enter this room, you are met by a wall of doors on either side of you. Um, there's another door right there. Uh, there's a stairway that looks like it goes down, uh, and <clears throat> the biggest thing I think in this room is the large table with a big map rolled out across it. What up, Jumpy? Make my way over to the map. Uh, does it seem like it's marked for any current route or anything like that? Uh, it does. I'll take a look at it with Varian. Uh, you guys see a course plotted out. Uh, it looked like they were headed from uh, Okeanos to Arvington. Hmm. Okay. Okeanos to Arvington? Yep. I can, do you guys need to go to the big map? Keanos was on the island, right? Yep. The southern one on the island? I mm -hmm. don't remember where the other one is, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah it was the, the southernmost city on the island you guys are going to. And Arvington was... You guys passed Arvington on the way from Thalassa to where you're headed. That's what I kind of figured. Interesting. Um, does it appear that there are any other form of, like, a papers or just kind of anything of notes on this table uh you see different charts um that are just more like sea maps uh you see a few that are like that show uh it says like trade routes <clears throat> it's got like lines going from Thalassa to kind of like everywhere mm -hmm. Interesting. And you see uh, some of the trade routes coming from Thalassa to the west are, are X'd out in red. Hmm. What do you make of this? Um. It's, it's definitely interesting. Um. So you said some of the ones from Thalassa to the west were X'd out in red? Yep. Huh. And if... No, oh, yeah, never mind. It... <laughs> okay. 
Almost, almost gave him a little too much info. <laughs> I, it, I, don't, uh, I don't like it here. <laughs> so, real That's quick. what I do know is I don't like it here. Are these little kind of uh, small little jut outs, are these doors? or Those are all doors, yeah. Okay. That's impressive. Okay. I'll kind of make my way back to the entrance door. Well, this room has a shit ton of doors. I don't know if there's going to be anything in all of them or if all of them are just there for nothing. I I thought it was the, this was the captain quarters. Why, why would there be many doors? Well, usually this is towards the captain's quarters. I could be wrong and this could have a different layout to the ship. Hmm. But, yeah, there's also some, looks like stairs uh, heading further down. Or maybe there's a, the furthest door away from us might be heading toward the quarters. I see, I see. Oh, most boats tend to stick to a similar design, but some designs can get a little unique, to say the least. But oh, I'm sorry, I didn't actually. Right, you guys can't see this. There are stairs that go up farther. Uh. Oh. Oh, you mean outside? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. Yes, yeah, so there's stairs. Uh, they're kind of they're kind of hard to see, but they're right oh. here. Oh, you guys can't see my pings. Oh, yeah, here to take you up to like an above part, Ooh. and it goes farther back. From the oh. yeah. Interesting. You guys can't see all the. That I mean, is... characters wouldn't be able to see all the way up here, but let's go back yeah. farther. Here. I don't know where to look. I've got like maps on maps opened up right now, and I'm like <laughs> so confused. Uh, I have my DM map and then the map you guys see. Well, Start here should we go or... door by door? Sure. All right. Should we, uh, should we come in then? <laughs> uh, see, I'd help if we have uh, more hands on deck, but I don't know if things might happen outside either. I'll turn to Nyla. Nyla? I, I can wait by the door. Yeah, you want to stay out here with the spooky ghosts? Now, now that you mention it, <laughs> you <laughs> will be standing by the door. As I step inside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll I'll stay I'll stay out right here, just in case. I'm too I'm too big to fit right there, anyways. <laughs> All right. Well, I start checking doors. Um, I'll see if this one uh, opens up. Kick it open. Not really. Not kick it open. Just see if I can just. Ah, kick it open. It's not. Who's gonna? Who's gonna get mad at the ghost? Throw the cobalt Look, through the door. They're, they're uh, if there are ghost sailors on this ship, I am going to respect the shit out of this ship. <laughs> I do not want to be haunted for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh, as you you open the door, you it opens up to like a nice tidy room. Interesting. Everything looks like it's been you know like neatly. The bed is made. Right. And then just one by one, I'm going to go uh, down the area. Sorry, my map freaked out. And you, you kind of find it the same. It's Everything is tidy and put away and well kept. And I'll, I'll, I'll close the doors after I take a look in. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's in these, as far as these rooms go, um... It's it's very odd. Like there, it doesn't seem like there's a much of a sign of distress in any of them. 
Now you do notice there are cannons uh, in each room as well. I'm gonna point it out. Just some gun recorders, it looks like. How do the other how's the other side looking? I'm not touching these doors. This one. I'll go down down the side as well. Probably close to the same. Uh, relatively neat and kind of strangely untouched. Oop. I don't like this at all. I don't oh. like it either. Mm. Uh, I would like to go inside the room, open the door back up, and go inside. Mm -hmm. And I want to take a peek inside, like, the barrel, the chest, whatever container there is. I don't want to grab anything, I just want to see if there's anything inside. Okay, uh, you open up the chest, <clears throat> you find, like, a small dagger, uh, as well as some, uh, just sort of clothes. Hmm. Uh, I'll do the same. What, what's up? Sorry, the, the thing about the right side of the ship that uh, uh, Alrin looked in is these rooms look pretty well kept, but you do notice there seems to be, like, residue. Uh, it looks yeah, like I maybe the cannons... Were recently fired. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Anything interesting? Uh, nothing too interesting there is like some residue from the cannon but i that's weird even shift shoot at something yeah i'm here <laughs> check up? out the right check out the right side of the ship check out the, the port right si yeah the port side See if there's anything that they could have been trying to shoot at, if there's any remnants of anything in the ocean. The port- the what side? Port side, your- your- sorry, no. Starboard. Apologies. Star what? Starboard, <laughs> you're right, you're right. Oh, the right side. The right side. Correct. Right side. Yes, I'm starboard. Slowly, like, make my way. <laughs> I forget, every now and then my brain forgets port is left. Yeah, I'm come, I, I come back and like Starfish stick my head in. Always right -handed, my friend. I come back and stick my head in. What am I look? What am I looking for? If there's potentially any form of debris or anything that could be in the ocean that would result in any form of uh, cannon fire. Okay. Starboard. Starboard. Can uh, I make a perception check? Yeah, go for it. Perception. I can do that. Natural 20. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, you, the, the fog seems to have gotten thicker, and you're not able to really perceive much out through the fog. Yeah, I kind of like carefully make my way back. I'm like, I'm trying to be really careful because I'm like <clears throat> very self conscious about possibly bumping into ghosts and disrupting <laughs> them, and I'd feel very embarrassed if I did. <laughs> I don't want to disturb them while they do while they're doing their thing. So I'm gonna, I'll, I'll kind of like their lean in business? back into the cabin. Oh. No, I couldn't see anything. The fog is rolling in. Even thicker than when we first boarded. Hello? Hello. Oh god, don't scare me like that. <laughs> yeah, we're just, the ship we're just... is already the ship is already <laughs> too quiet. I'm coming in. Quickly, everyone play dead when he comes in. It'll be, it'll be super <laughs> fucking funny. To the ground. 
Uh, and shoot. Uh, Nyla, you said you're going through more of the rooms? Uh, yeah, like this one, then seeing if there's any kind of riches or whatsoever that were left behind. I don't want it. I just want to see if there is. Um, um and I if I can find anything, I keep going down. Uh, in this room, you find it's kind of the same stuff in the chest. Uh, in this one, you find like a cutlass um, and like a gold coin. Oh, that's good enough for me. I'll, I'll step back and say I, I did find a single gold piece, but that's that should be plenty enough to know that these people were not attacked by pirates. I feel like they would, even if gold pieces, I feel like they would snag it. It doesn't seem like they were pirates themselves either, does it? Mm, but yet? Remains to be proven. Well, regardless of what they were, they suffered the same fate, so... That is fair. Has anyone looked in this side yet? I think they have, right? Yeah, I'm both the left and right side have been yeah. opened up. There's still a large door at the very end uh, on the southern side. Yeah, I will... Is that the captain's Shoot. quarters through there? It Never possibly know. could be, but... We're about to find out. I've been wrong before. Alloran, oh. you... Mm, go on. Alloran, you... You are proficient in the in the darkness, <coughs> right? Yeah. Go ahead and take a peek down those stairs right there. Oh, okay. Don't worry, I'm right behind you. Uh-huh. Okay. Mission. I will do so. Let's see. He those has to find his map. stairs go... <laughs> Here? Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, how far down are you going? Maybe just stay on the stairs for now. So we don't... Yeah, oh, it's still on the <laughs> stairs. Uh, okay, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Off to the right, if you're just peeking down the stairs, you see another door, uh, and you see a cannon. How dark okay. is it down there? It's... There, there are dim, like, you see some light. I'll give Alaran a little pat on his shoulder. I... Y yes? Nothing, just letting you know I'm here. Oh, okay. I mean, you said you'd be right behind me, so I was hoping that was you. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, go down a couple more steps to see if I can see any more, but I'm still on the stairs. But. Uh. Oh. Okay, I'll give you that much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're sitting on the stairs, like there's only so much I can show you. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. So, Varian, know. this you're is good. the captain's quarters. Honestly, I... I'm not entirely certain. It's a possibility, but could it be wrong. Doesn't look like your typical captain's quarters to me. No. Um, I'll. Cause yeah, th this is a a door down here, or like multiple doors. Yeah, it's a, it's like a pretty like hefty looking door. Okay. All right. Well. On three. I'll scurry back up the stairs for now. One, two, three, and um, I'll try to start just pushing the door open. Okay. Uh, the door swings open. Now there's a large dining table. You see food laid out on it. Like they, people are about to just sit down and have a meal. And there's also a small uh, staircase right here that goes up. <clears throat> uh, 
Interesting. Is there food on the table? Yes. How does it look like old and molded already, or is it still relatively fresh? It looks... It, it, it doesn't look like it's started to mold yet. So either whatever happened to this ship happened recently, or even the the food is under the effect of some sort of magic. It could be that it could be something sinister preserving the entire vessel, and that's what keeps it afloat. hard to say I don't know should we taste it to make sure no <laughs> Okay. there no. is a giant turkey leg sitting on the no. plate at the head of the table trust me I am extremely tempted <laughs> oh turkey no 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 <laughs> you love turkey no 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 <laughs> no not the spooky ship turkey <laughs> I don't like that turkey. I don't trust this turkey. If you all want, I'm going to be checking up these stairs to see where it could possibly go. If you want, you all can go. Below that, I can check. Just for a little bit. Not for long, just do a quick little survey and get back here. Alright. Alright, Alaren, let's go. I'll stay with you if that's okay. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Very safety in numbers. Uh, I'll start heading up the uh, stairwell. I'll wait for him to be like all the way this to the top. This is probably the DM's nightmares being split on this map. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fine. It's fine. I, like I said, I spent oh, like a large amount of time like studying this map before we played. <laughs> it looks really nice. I like it. It is very nice. So you come up to this room and it looks rather nice. Uh, you see kind of like a really nice desk right there. And, oh, hold on. Oops. There is a door. Sorry? Doors. I know Alaren can't see this, but lobster. Lobster. There we go. Lobster. Stores right there. There's also a door leading. There's doors here and then doors here. Yeah, hey, thank you for drawing the doors. <laughs> so <Yeah>. many, <laughs> so many doors. So many. All of the doors. Yeah, I'm, I'm mostly putting those down just so I don't have to keep asking where are the doors. Shit. Hey. Um, should I take a look around, see if there's anything of note? Um, yeah, what's uh, what's what's on the desk? Uh, you see some papers. <clears throat> there's a few uh, gold coins, uh, like a, a quill and ink, a uh, sextant couple of maps uh, over here on the table you see more um, food it looks like somebody's about to just sit down and eat um, on any of the notes do they seem relatively do they seem relevant in like oh hey date like a journal or anything like that's it uh, captain's log um, you don't see anything that has a captain's log. You do find more papers, uh, with trade route information. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's a few, uh, with times on it. Uh, 
with uh, uh, like one at one time, which you would kind of uh, guesstimate to be when the fish people attacked. It uh, just says clear waters. Interesting. What about these? Is it is it bolts and bottles? Yep. Oh, I want one. What which one is like the fanciest? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, hold on one second, roll to Oh, he's like Taking crashing for me right now. Boat ship. Okay. We're done. Boat ship? Ghost ship? What? <laughs> yes. Sorry. Boat ship. <laughs> boat ship. Boat ship. I think boat I said ship. taking something from the boat ship <laughs> instead of from the ghost ship. There we go. Oh, this um, is some sort of ship we're on. Yeah, you you, <laughs> you actually see. <laughs> <laughs> you see one that looks eerily similar similar to the boat that you're on, but the flag is a pirate flag. Oh. Oh. I'll grab that one. And keep it keep it in my hand as I present it to uh Varian. Oh, very pleased with my find. That's a very well made rep Wait, what what's the flag? Wait, is it oh. Black with skull and bones on it. Oh god, okay. That makes more sense now. I I I sh I'm keeping it though. Yeah, oh yeah, I mean, they might as well, yeah. I'm sure they don't mind. Yeah, probably not. I'll, I'll put it if, in my messenger bag. If, if they don't want you to have it, then they'll come here now and stop us. Pause for a little bit. Look, <laughs> look around. <laughs> See, yeah, you. It's fine. I'll be, I'll be respectful and only grab one of them. That's very kind of you. <laughs> That's very kind of you. <laughs> oh um, man! If, if that replica is that of the ship exactly. It makes sense why they have all of these routes marked. These are trade routes. Yeah, they're pirates. Oh, would it be smugglers then? With what we saw earlier, I wouldn't put it past them if it uh, gave them some good coin. But from what it sounded like, it sounds like the cargo was not something that was wanted by the rest of the crew well hopefully um Ibrian and Alloran doesn't stumble onto this uh cargo mm. so as you guys are chatting about this I would like to know what Ibrian and Alloran are up to yeah. so we we're at the bottom of the stairs and I kind of I kind of Lean into Alarin. Trying to find him on the map. I kind of get real close. <laughs> Alarin. I. I don't want to make you apprehensive, but the ghost said that they were wary of what their of what their passengers were transporting for cargo. Yeah. Yeah. Did. And cargo is it's in the bottom of the boat. Yeah. And we're in the bottom of the boat. We're not so just not we're, quite we're, in the bottom of the boat, my friend. We're getting but... closer to the bottom of the boat. <laughs> so as so you... just <laughs> Just letting you know. Hard. <laughs> I don't mean to interrupt him. I'm dying. I've actually never been on a boat before, so I don't I... know. I'm really I lost. Have... You're fine. So you go first. <laughs> so as you guys come down these stairs, you notice, you notice there are more sets of stairs leading down. There are tons of hammocks kind of lined around <clears throat> this room. Uh, also uh, cannons uh, along the walls of both sides. Uh, there are doors. 
on either end. Man, this boat's got a lot of fucking cannons on it, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. The heck. So yeah, there's doors down here. I don't think this is like a, your normal, ordinary like. Train doors. Ship. So doors on doors on each end of the ship as well. You guys gonna... are like people out here just like sleeping with the cannons too. Yeah. Maybe they use the cannons as their beds. They just crawl inside and go. <laughs> <laughs> That would save space, wouldn't it? It would. It'd be funny if they you can have more. And, 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 they, they, and then no. they pull they they pull sailor pranks on each other by firing their sleeping uh, sailor brother out of the cannons to wake them up. Like Sea of Thieves, we almost just made Steve choke. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just a little sailor prank. You know how it is. <laughs> you know it won't cause any bodily harm. It just launched them totally. safely out into the ocean. Just like Sea of Thieves, right? Yeah, one hundred percent. That's how that works, right? Fire, Fire the boarding, boarding party. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well. Oh God. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna open this door. And it's take probably a good call. Peek inside. Uh, you find a big and room. I'm intrigued. I'm going to go in the big room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll stop right there. There's there's some shiny shit. Oh, shiny I think it's actually shop. supposed to be separated in the middle. That's my mistake. No, I, I see the wall. I see <laughs> okay. the wall on the other okay. door. Yeah, thank I you. I see the wall, too. Yeah. There's, there's still shiny stuff. There is um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, this room looks like it has... Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, some tools. Um, some some like long. Uh, these are like for like long pipe cleaner things for the cannons to kind of clean out the inside, kind of get them ready to go. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, mm -hmm. you know, some hammers and such. These are definitely rifles, but pipe we're... cleaner things. Yeah, yeah totally. those are, I I don't know that. <laughs> They're definitely not rifles. Evil fancy. <laughs> um. Pews. Yeah. This looks fancy. Ellen's intrigued by this one. Uh oh, it's just a it's just like a cutlass mounted to the wall. I refuse to give anybody a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you guys cause too much trouble as is. I can't imagine you guys running I... around with a gun. That's fine. I'm probably strong enough to take one of these cannons. I played. <laughs> I played it. No, oh mind, man! Mind, mind, off topic. Uh, I'm gonna open this door. Okay. Uh, you open this door, and it looks like there's sort of like a, a workshop. You see an anvil. There are tons of cutlasses and daggers and knives on this table, as well as this table. This one looks fancy. And uh, is there anything like special on the red? Thing, I'm assuming. On this one? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, you see sort of like a cutlass and the um, right. like the guard over the handle uh, is is gold. Uh, Ebron. Yes? Can you, can you come here? Yes, come in. Por favor. All right. What high up thing do you need me to reach for you? <laughs> it's shiny. <laughs> I don't like. I I mean I could pull on the cloth, but there's. So what is it? Um, what is it we're looking at? Heat. It's shiny. It's got a gold handle on it. Cutlass or whatever it is. I can't tell. I can't see. Is it? it is it on a looks... table? Yeah. You can't see over the table? I can see over the table. My little arm can't reach over there. Oh. Just like picturing like little T-Rex arms like trying to reach up and just like, meh. <laughs> you can't quite reach. <laughs> I, I, I like, feel like I, like, I mean, tables are kind of like, I don't know how high this table is. How high is this table seat? I mean, I'll like, kind of like pick up the cutlass and like inspect it. Toddler can reach tables. <laughs> I, feel like you I don't know. 
Um, it, it seems like a well-made cutlass. Um, it's got, like I said, it's got kind of like a gold handle, a gold guard over the handle. I don't know, I don't know what you call that on a cutlass, but you, you know yeah, what I'm talking about. Yeah, the hilt. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of got like some nice engravings. Uh, one of them is like a skull and crossbones. Well, it's a it fine weapon to be cool. sure. Certainly more your taste than mine. And I'll hand it over to her. They got Alarian has like these little grabby hands. <laughs> She'll take the cutlass. I keep uh, I'll, I'll look around in this room. What else do I see on these other tables? Um, you see, you see other um, like daggers, knives, cutlasses. There's tons of tools. Uh, you see some notes on like the desk. There's some trunks in the southern part of it, uh, as well as like an anvil. Oh, what's this thing, Steve? What's this thing over here on top of these barrels? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie, it does kind of look like an RPG, doesn't it? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> uh, you know what we're gonna say? It looks like a like a large harpoon that can be loaded into the cannon. That's what it is. Okay. Hmm, doesn't look like that hmm. to me. It looks like some sort of gun. <laughs> not in my fantasy world. Is it the blunderbuss? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like some sort of something. <laughs> I don't know shotgun. what it is. Looks like some sort of carryable, shootable something. I mean, it's like I need uh, to do a little bit more uh, looking around at <laughs> some of the finer details of these maps. <laughs> uh, I'll climb up on the chair and take a look at the notes and stuff that are on this table. <clears throat> uh, on, the, um, on the table, you no, just go ahead. On the table, you just Sorry. find like a notebook of like it's like a repair log. Things are crossed out. Uh, there's still some things like unchecked to do, you know, like a, a finish, um, like, you know, banging out, like sharpening out some, you know, divots in, in such and such sword. Uh, one of the wheels is squeaky on one of the cannons, stuff like that. That one looks rusty. Although I can't see that from where I am, maybe, but. Oh, they all look rusty. Never mind. Uh, and then I'll. Pop down, I'll take a look at these as well. Um, just from where I'm standing, do any of the weapons or tools, any of the other weapons or tools look like they're of a noticeably better quality? <clears throat> Not like necessarily. Similar to how the cutlass was? Not necessarily. The The cutlass was kind of like the, the that was kind of like the nicest one. It was laid on in like that nice like sort of velvet cloth almost. Mm-hmm. Take a look. Look in. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look in the chest. You just you find more tools, sharpening stones, hammers, nails. <laughs> okay. So the documents on the desk—they're all just in regards to uh, the work that was taking place here. Yeah, just like uh, repair things. I will. I'm gonna kind of like make my way over here and kind of like step back out and kind of just like stand at the ready, just kind of work cautiously, like looking around, scanning the the main hall, okay. the main room. Uh, and as you do that, we're gonna jump back over to the other two. Or over here. There you are. Let's see. Uh, what are Varian and Nyla up to? Um, after stashing the bottle away in my message room bag, I'll I'll keep close to uh, Varian. Still uneasy about what we saw on them on oh, the boat with the ghost. Nice. Sire? I forgot I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I would um, cautiously crack open this door and take a look inside. Uh, inside, you are met with a very elegant cabin. Oh my god. 
door. Door. Why? They have so many doors. So, I, I think it's uh, just to to me. We see a very nice bed, a uh, piano, uh, sort of like a couch on the other side. Jesus. Um. Oh. Hmm. <clears throat> That's uh, more my kind of room. Kind of wish mean, we had that on boat that we're traveling on. You know what? Let's just take the bed. Just <laughs> lift it up. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> um, does it seem like there's anything that would be of note in this room? Uh, actually, as you guys enter, uh, that familiar or that cold feeling you had earlier begins to creep back in again as you can mm -hmm. kind of start to see your breath. Uh, and before you are uh, three ethereal apparitions. This time, uh, it is three figures in a purple robes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, all right. Grab some water. Uh, one of them uh, speaks... Um, uh, I feel uneasy being in the water. I know our master ordered us to bring him this relic, but will we even make it? Uh, she's talking, uh, her hood falls back. Uh, and her face kind of, it's, it's kind of recognizable to you, Nyla. Um, it kind of reminds you uh, of uh, your teacher. Oh. They share some of the same uh, sort of facial features. Uh, and the other one goes, I uh, feel your concern, but it must be done. We shouldn't be on this boat for long, and we should be able to get it safely across the land. And you kind of notice a glance uh, <clears throat> at the one of the tables near the bed, and you see like a small lockbox. Um, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> the lady uh, whose hood fell back goes, hmm, I don't even see why the old great one would even need it. He's supposed to be all powerful, and yet he needs such an item? Even with Hades wounded, he hasn't yet broken free of the underworld. What chance does he even have against the gods? <clears throat> uh, and the, the other guy will speak up. Those are blasphemous words. But I understand your concern. But can't you feel it, Arya? The gods are weakening. The people's faith is crumbling. With no one stopping the souls leaving the underworld, the lands will have plunged into chaos. And soon, his full powers will be restored. This will just help him stay safe for the time being. Uh, and then all of a sudden you see all of the figures uh, sort of react to something sort of outside of this room uh, And you see them all look very concerned uh, One of them will grab the lockbox and say I'll go check our cargo and then they all run out of the room and dissipate This lady Seem pretty familiar to me How so? Oh, just some familiar facial features. I'll I'll give it a, a bit more of a thought, but the logbox seem pretty important. At least to them. I mean, they said that it's, that it's something to protect the great old one. Something like that. Hmm. I'm beginning to think that whatever caused them a stir is the reason why I think that they were the only ones that escaped. That is a big possibility for sure. Oh well, we... Let's quickly check open this door, then let's go reconvene with the others. Uh, pop open the door up here. Ah. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it makes it simpler, but if you move over to the right, and then a little south. Yeah, you guys are right there. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, you come out to, like, the wheel. Looks like it had been smashed somehow. 
Uh, and then just slightly in front of it, you three, you see three figures that you weren't able to see from the main deck that you were on kind of turn and look at you with uh, oh. lifeless eyes. Oh, they, fuck. <clears throat> they kind of moan like... Arr. Just close the door. <laughs> yeah, I think we should probably go find the uh, Elrond and Ibrin. Let's it go. does seem like a good idea for sure. What, what about these doors? I, I, I failed to notice this one before. It's this door. I want to open. I want to take a peek. I feel pretty safe with those um, undead behind closed doors. I unless they can open those. I'm trying to find the map. There we are. Oh. Give Nile a Glock. <laughs> a gun witch. Oh no. <laughs> it's my spell casting focus. It casts <laughs> fire bolts. Uh, inside you see kind of like a bunch of like fine wines. Bottles of booze. Yep. I'm grabbing a bottle. Okay. Stashing it away. You hear yeah. uh some banging on the door. <clears throat> we, we, we might want to get going. Uh, one one thing to note, that one of the zombies did have uh, that hat with the feather in it that you saw in the very first sort of like ghostly vision. Oh. Alright, good shit. All right, but we need to help them. They'll probably need help. Down we go, I suppose. Yep. Alright. Okay, so as you guys are kind of making your way back down, what is Ebrin and Aleron doing? Uh, I'm waiting for Aleron to come out. I will come out. Halfway through the wall, apparently. There we go. Um, I stepped away, so I don't know if anything else happened. But... Uh, I'm just kind of like walking the length of this lore kind of like weaving in and out of the hammocks okay uh as you get there Ibrin, <clears throat> you see frost kind of covering the tables uh all of a sudden <coughs> excuse me sorry that's the right page of my notes um and uh you see uh apparitions appear before you uh, there are people kind of mining to the tending to the cannons. There's some people sort of eating on the long tables. Some people napping. Uh, but you see two kind of conversing, um, sort of, sort of um, kind of close to you, like right here. Um, <clears throat> and you see one of the one of the sailors go. Ah, I can't believe the captain is letting them use their quarters. <clears throat> Sorry, <clears throat> use his quarters. Must be paying a lot of coin for him to do that. And the other one go. I. And they brought some large containers on board. I say we go take a little peek, see if there's a little something extra for us. And you see them sort of disappear down these stairs, uh, and the rest of the apparitions vanish. I kind of turn to Alarin. Did I see that as well? Since I'm like right here. Yeah, you 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 saw it as well. Hmm. As tempted as I am to go find that, I feel like since they were so e uneasy about it. God, I want to go find out what it is, though. Ah. Uh, um. And Nyla and Varian, you guys were headed down to meet them, right? Yeah. I would say about this time, you guys would be coming down the stairs as they're contemplating that last sort of vision. Okay. And um, I have less maps now. <laughs> Easier to navigate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good news and bad news. Good oh, news is. Hey, hello. Oh, hi. Um, are you guys all right? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good news. Stuff downstairs, but you know. Probably let's not check it. Good news, though. 
purple rope seekers were on the boat. Uh, lockbox thing that they need, <clears throat> and that's all we have. Bad news. Dead captain and friends are uh, top deck. Dead captain, you say? Dead captain and friends are back alive and moaning. And moaning, you say? Hey. Yep. Well, I suppose that is quite fitting for our current situation. Not, not entirely surprising, but I was hoping that it could be avoided, but... I suppose a ship full of ghosts, you know, it's it only makes sense. Yeah. But yeah. we did see more apparitions ourselves. Oh. And apparently the this cargo that is so ominous is just on these steps here. So what of this lockbox? They took it, and I have no clue where it is. My best guess is rogue figures hopped on one of those lifeboats and yeeted themselves out of here with that lockbox. But one thing that they didn't take with them is whatever cargo was stored below, I'm guessing. More than likely. Oh, you know, hold on. You know, I should probably... We should... Uh, I'm going to go back up deck and try to deal with them. That way, none of our friends on, on, on our boat have to deal with zombies. That is yeah. a good idea. If you guys want to keep looking down there, you can. I'm just going to try to at least stall. No, oh, let's go okay. together and deal with this problem one at a time. Yep. Where did you go? <laughs> you went to sue me. You went to the... You went to the... <laughs> <laughs> Went to the other flight of stairs. Other flight of stairs. Oh, I see him. <laughs> yeah. I see him. I'll chase after. Can flight of stairs. I have no idea where anybody is. Where, north. Can... where did you all go? <laughs> up north. Up north. Up north. A bit north. <laughs> kind of mid, mid, mid boat um, on the right side. Oh, I see. You. Yeah. Also, we did find we just <laughs> find some see. clues oh, okay. about oh. the boat me being being smugglers or pirates. Possibly. Does that make sense for the maps? Hmm. It is a lot of cannon. I would like to shoot one before we leave. Uh. If we find cannonballs and stuff to do it, maybe. Don't shoot our boat, please. Oh yeah, there's there's yeah, cannon there's yeah. cannonballs and stuff. Yeah, I can wait. I can wait for whenever we're done with this place, if possible. Actually, I guess I'd be like, yeah, fuck it, I'm over there. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Let's get it. Is this them? It, it, it seems only like three of them. Not too bad. For now. The we did oh. worse, I'm sure. Hello? There. Um, oh my god. Roll 20, please. Does it seem like uh, there's any... Oops. Are there any others kind of along the main deck? Or does it seem to be just those three? You only see these three. The one with the red dot is the one with the um, captain hat on. And they're all, uh, I guess they're all here now, banging on this door. Like, trying to get in. Alright. Let's, let's take care of them real quick. As you guys walk out onto the deck, uh, they'll sort of turn to face you, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, let me get the, uh... We're doing the thing. Rolling for initiative. Can be and be. Oh. And we're playing the Dungeons and Dragons now. Oh, spooky oh. zombie boy. Spooky pirate. zombie boy. What a handsome Hambo. man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen there. He's only got one leg. Whoa. Oh, like <laughs> what was that? I didn't click on myself. E. Oh, there it is. I can find the initiative button. Imagine getting out initiated by a one-legged, peg-legged zombie. <laughs> Probably goes to 
has the speed of two or something. No. Dang, those rolls. Absolutely. You, we got everybody. Let's go. All right, we're gonna be starting with Nyla. Um. <clears throat> Let me, let me read something real fast. Uh, this. <laughs> I, need, I need to look up. How much does a cannonball weight? <laughs> and is there like no, any, come any on. cannonballs around? Yeah, there is. <laughs> I want to catapult a cannonball to them. Oh, oh no! <laughs> uh, Average. I'm gonna be aiming toward the right side, the, the far right, the zombos. Um, Eight to ten pounds a piece, it says. Oh, that's too heavy. Never mind. It's one to five pound a thing. Oh, you're right. All right, never mind. Uh, in my mind, I can't do it. Um, magic missile it is. I'll cast magic missile on the one on the far right. Okay. God. There you go. <clears throat> I forget how many how many darts that is. Or is it one for Please. each? Um, I think we're doing a roll um, for each dart, right? We do. We do. That's right. All right. So I'm targeting all of them on the same one. So there you go. Zombies. It is three darts at first of all. Oops. Oop. Heck. There we go. You see the dirt slam into them and they're like, Marrr! So they brandish their uh, cutlasses at you. You see the middle one, the one with the captain hat, pull out sort of this <coughs> uh, sort of like ethereal looking cutlass. The blade is kind of like this ghostly green. Uh, and it almost looks like there's like faces like appearing in it. Uh -huh. Oh. Gross. Oh, they're not, they're not normal zombie that we've been dealing with as far as I can tell. I'm going to hide behind um, Varian. And that's going to be my turn. What happened? I missed it. Uh, what you do? Nyla hit him with a spell. Uh, and they turned uh, and looked at you guys. And the center captain looking zombie pulled out sort of this like ghostly cutlass that has like faces kind of like appearing in the ghostly ethereal blade. Lovely. I'm gonna like turn to turn to Alaran. Oh, see, look at his sword, Alaran. Now that's a sword. <laughs> is indeed a sword. I love that. We should get you something like that. Uh, now was that your? <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Okay, we're on to Alaran. Um. Um. 20. I will shoot at this guy with my truck bow. Uh, it is foggy, so I'm assuming we're not in direct sunlight. <coughs> that is correct. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah. Um. Eleven if it hits. And then. Will eleven hit? Uh. Let's see. An eleven does not hit. Okie dokie. Die that they'll move here. These uh, these zombies seem to be a, a little bit more nimble than the ones that you fought in the past. Lovely. Okie dokie. Uh, that's all I'm doing for now. 
Okay. Uh, this zombie right. is going to use uh, its action, its full action to dash, so it can make it all the way up to <clears throat> um, Varian. Hmm. This zombie will do the same. Except he's going to go towards Ebrin. And then this guy will follow suit. And we come around to uh, Ebrin. Wonderful. I will... Resources real fast. Okay. okay. Refamiliarize ourselves. I will simply take an attack on the one immediately in front of me. Okay. Do anything. Uh, that. Okay. Uh, Thirteen does hit. And that. Oh. Oof. Max damage. Whack a spunkus. <laughs> oh, that is max. <laughs> nice. Uh, you slam him real good. Uh, it sort of like staggers back a step as it's like moans. It's Sort of like stomach caved in from the blow. Uh, but he's still standing. And that will be my turn. Okay, and we're to Varian. Alright. Um, bonus action, I will... Enter my rage, and I am going to make. Wait, how far away? Ten feet. Um. Go ahead and have the captain boy make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Fails. My DC is fifteen. Ooh. Well, they'll take only one point of lightning damage, though. Uh, <clears throat> okay, see him get zapped a little bit. He is like, looks a little startled. Uh, then I will make a attack, great sword attack against the one directly in front of me. Okay, that hits. 21. That hits. <laughs> Four uh, that hits. Ooh, Max uh, damage. Will... What was my rage damage? I think it's only two still, so it'd be 16 points of slashing damage to it. Okay, as you slice into him, his zombie guts kind of spilling out. He <coughs> looks at he, he looks like he's about to topple, but he's he's still barely hanging on. As he's like um, trying to like push it back inside. <laughs> he's just like Rawr! Oh god, that's disgusting. Just make a stop as I go for a second swing on him. Oh, oh. oh. scent is too strong. He's like, oh. yeah, he's just like choking on how gross it is. All... <laughs> Seeing uh, that Varian got flustered by the sight and smell, uh, I'll I'll make him reroll by rewinding through time. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> now he's really gonna throw up. <laughs> um. 13 hits. 13 hits. So I okay. feel like you miss, but for some reason your your swing adjusts and uh, you hit him for 9. Uh, plus 2, so 11 points of slashing. Okay. Dude. He is going to drop to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that was a little too realistic for me. <laughs> That was pretty I, good. I, I just ate mashed potatoes too. Oh man, that turned my stomach a little bit. Oh, <laughs> oh. sorry. No, you're good. Can. Just kind of wipe, wipe my mouth and just 
Oh god. Oh, that was horrid. Um, then I'm going to. <laughs> I'm going to try to interpose a little bit, move five feet, and just try to kind of interpose between uh, Nyla and uh, Illyrin. Okay. That will be the end of my turn. Uh, Nyla, back around to you. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll, I'll keep it simple. I'll cast uh, Firebolt on the one with the fancy hat. Okay. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it is it is what it is. Um as you're trying to shoot, uh you you accidentally singe uh uh Varian just a little bit since you're trying to shoot through him. Oh, do I roll damage? I roll damage. <laughs> oh, it's not going to be a little bit. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why is it so much? Because we're level five. Oh my god! You, you just <laughs> accidentally just blast him in the back. Ow! 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 <laughs> <clears throat> I think you take a little bit Already. less though, right? Because you're ranging, or am I wrong? Um, if it is uh, slashing, bludgeoning, or piercing damage, gotcha. this one goes through full. Uh, fire, <laughs> friendly fire, firebolt damage. Yep. Uh, new definition of friendly fire. I. <laughs> Do I do I do I see the firebolt coming? How far back is Nyla? Nyla's standing right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm pretty close. Oh, okay, never mind. Varian's not close enough to me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm about ten feet away. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be my turn. <laughs> Go around, to Alarin. <coughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fuck it. I'm gonna take a step up and I'm gonna take a little stabby stab at I'll go for this one. Okay. The one that got bludgeoned in the stomach. Uh fifteen to hit. Fifteen hits and you'll get your sneak attack damage. Yes I will. Uh, I think it's three D six now. Fifteen total. Dang. As I poke and prod and skewer. Forget uh, some kebabs for dinner. Let's see. Yeah. You do. I do. <laughs> you skewer him on the end of your sword, uh, and he slides off lifelessly. <laughs> One last little zombie moan. I poke him in the nose when he falls down. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> uh, anything else you'd like to do on your turn? Uh, um. Oh fuck! I always forget about that. Sorry. But... I forget about Rackish Audacity when rolling initiative. Um. Um, 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 what is it? What is it? What is it? I'm gonna use. Uh. Interesting. What is it? I'm gonna disengage and move back there from uh, cunning action. Okay. Ash my bonus action. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna step back. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this pirate is. Oh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna stay where he is, but he's gonna take a swing on. Uh, let's see, Varian's kind of singed. Looks like, so he's gonna hope that he's distracted and he's gonna take a swing on him. Ah, uh, does an eleven hit? Does not hit me. 
Okay, and he's going to take a second attack uh, for a nine, which is, I'm assuming, also doesn't hit you. No. He's sort of swinging about. He seems a little confused, like why he, he's not sure why he's like, he, he kind of like looks at his like arm quizzically. It's like, Arr! and he like shakes his sword a little bit. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, Ebrin's turn. Um. All right, I will. Let's see. Let's see. I will. Let's see. I will attack with my Warhammer again. Okay. Yep. That will just hit. All right. For that much. Okay. And then I am going to use my Shieldmaster feat Ooh. and use my bonus action to attempt to knock him prone with an athletics check. Okay, he's gonna roll against it. And he can roll athletics or acrobatics, whichever's he, higher. He got an 18. Oh, that's pretty high. I got a nat one. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine, it fails really bad. You wanna hit him and he's just sort of like, kind of like um, hugs your shield so he just stays put. And I will move five feet over okay and then my turn all right we're over to ebra i'll do a little side hop and to stay in between him and aleron all right um gonna i'll wrap around bonus action go ahead and roll me a dexterity saving throw for a capitan that one <laughs> Natural one that succeeds. Um, Sick. <laughs> take five points of there lightning damage. There we go. Just some good lightning damage. <laughs> um, and I'll make great sword attack. Um, will this be flanking or? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, yep, that's it. Um, and take twelve points of slashing from the first strike. That is actually just enough. He just. crumples to the ground. And his uh, cutlass falls, and you see the blade disappear, as it now is just a hilt laying on the on the ground next to him. Huh. Interesting. Lauren's just kind of look, gonna look at her own rapier, and then look oh. at the hilt, and then look back at her rapier. We want it. Confused. Yeah, you can you can have the you can have the shy. ghost tilts. It's <laughs> worth a shot. Maybe there's a magic word for it or something. Beetlejuice. Do I will. T- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'll take I'll take the shiny. Okay. I'm assuming it's shiny. I'm gonna step over to Varian because like, kind of like over his shoulder. Uh, like just out of like what like he, it's kind of like just out of his sight there's like a tiny little like burning like smoldering patch of fur oh yeah that's and i'm yeah. gonna i'm gonna like reach up and like pat quickly pat it out uh 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 uh, uh still burns still burns a little. uh okay <clears throat> thank you thank you i appreciate that Nyla, what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm large, but come on. It is exactly my excuse. You're large, taking a lot of space. <laughs> Move to the side. I do apologize, however. <laughs> I was still shocked by uh, the ghost. I was not expecting to see a zombie with a fancy <laughs> soul sword. Not now. Uh, uh, it is yours. Hopefully you're not cursed. I Hopefully not, but uh, you know, it's fine. I have... 
Okay. Well. Let's do a... Hmm. Do you guys think we should check on our... Our boat, or should we continue down... Um, to the cargo? Well, uh, I don't... Well, we, we know that this cargo is tied to the cult now, right? To the men in robes. We yeah. have to we have to check it, no matter how like, reluctant we are to do so. I feel like our boat is perfectly safe when there was no screaming or cry for help whatsoever. <clears throat> uh, is there? I'm gonna check the captain. Is there anything else on him? Um, <clears throat> he's got a pouch of gold. Uh, there's, there's uh like fifteen gold in it. He's got his hat with a feather on it. Uh, kind of like f fine captain's clothes. A little stinky. I will take the pouch. Oh, and uh, and I'm sorry. There's a and he's got a key as well. And I will take the key. I'll kind of like hold the key up. And. I'll kind of like hold it up for them to see. Do you know what this might go to? Was there anything above deck? Or was there anything in the quarters that you saw? Um, there are also more stairs up here too. I didn't find anything that was locked. Well, if these are the only... You know, if this is the only resistance we face on the ship, then... We can take our time to look for it. All right. Uh, let's go check the cargo hold then. Do you need a glass of water <laughs> or something, Varian, or? Not the glass right. of water. No. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> Hello there. Um, no, it's... No, I'll be fine. I'm just a little bit pale. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> yeah, I'll go to this one, I guess. I'll go back to where we came in. Yeah. We're... I'll be fine. Because we're zooming. <clears throat> Zo uh, where are we? Um, I'll, I'll kind of like okay. turn, turn to the others. All right, are we ready? I'm ready. So we'll ever be. I'm going down. Okay, we're gonna go all the way to the farthest right. I'll uh, probably have a reveal today. You guys would be coming down these stairs. There it is. For simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna show you guys the whole map. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But pretty much all of it, I think. Twenty fours and forty twos. Oh, cannonball sizes. There we go. Uh okay. Um where are you guys? Oh there you guys are. Uh, so as you guys come down these stairs, <clears throat> that familiar, that, that cold feeling that you kind of have become familiar with, uh, creeps back in, <clears throat> uh, and apparitions appear again. Uh, this time, uh, uh, you see a purple hooded figure carrying a small box. Uh, he kind of looks. He's, he's moving this way. Uh, 
and he stops and kind of looks and you see these as well and these don't seem um ethereal you see two bodies and they look like the sailors that Ebrin and Alarin saw come down to the hold um <clears throat> and the purple hooded figure carrying the box is like those fools they've opened the cargo and you, you see him kind of frantically looking around uh then all of a sudden a uh, sword kind of like appears in his stomach and the apparition dissolves and sort of standing in place where whatever would have uh oh heck stabbed him uh, you see a couple of figures Perhaps. Are they also apparitions? No. They're not! Oh god. No. 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 Roll other initiative. You see uh, the lockbox on the floor. The purple hooded figure, you see a body that looks like it was thrown backwards towards. You guys, eh, back this way. Oh, hold on. This way, and there's a couple of like really large crates that look like they had been opened. Uh, and we're gonna. There we go. We'll finish it. We get a close up of these boys? I don't have a close up for you. I'm sorry. I could not find a good picture that wasn't like blatantly stealing somebody's like art. That's fine. Just oh. describe them to us with words. With words. Words. There we go. The power of words. Um, they look sort of like these undead warriors almost. They look much stronger than any zombie that you have fought. They're wielding uh, shields and uh, battle axes. Uh, and they sort of like give off this like cold feeling kind of emanating from them uh, as their sort of like eyes sort of shine bright with this like ethereal light. They look kind of sketchy. I think that might be the cargo that we've been looking for. Yeah, I love the numbers. They're so busted. <laughs> so funny. Yes. Rackish Audacity. Uh, you can give yourself a bonus to your initiative rolls equal to your charisma modifier. Okay. Can I use that? Yeah. Just roll it and then uh, tell me what your... It's it's a one, oh, okay. but <laughs> there you go. Fifteen. I think that's everybody, right? Did I make a mistake? Fifteen. That looks, that looks Nyla is it crazy fast? Yar. Yeah. It's because she's a time wizard. Time bunny. Time. Um. <laughs> Real fast, um, out of character, Ibrin, uh, don't you have multi attack at level five? Yup. Oh, okay, just making sure. Um, yep. I got lots of things. Team, I'll, I'll look up at you and say, I, I promise not to shoot you in the back. It was an accident this way. Um, <laughs> and I'll, um, point at him. Before pointing over to the ghostly figures and say that, um, go not ghost time, time itself will be on your side. I promise I'll, I'll try my best not, not shoot anyone in their back as I cast uh, haste onto Ibrin. Ooh, Ooh. Why is um, that? <clears throat> my hourglass will be filled with the purple sand, which is normally empty, uh, and star. Trilling down. Uh, how long does it last? A minute. I can't post it. Oh, yeah, yeah, post it for the folks at home. Because I definitely have all it. the spells memorized. Oh, haste. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Haste. <laughs> so good. Uh, yeah, it's very good. So until the spell ends, the target speed is double. That gains a plus two bonus to AC, and it has advantage on dex saving throws. And it gains an additional action on each turn. <laughs> the action be used to only take the attack. Sure you maintain Dash, disengage, hide, or uh, use so, an object action. So for a minute, you have plus two AC. 
advantage on dex throw, uh, dex saving throw, and you can use an, an extra action for whatever. Oh my god. Very good spell, it's super good. Yeah, I'm like calling on myself to remember. Uh, that's good enough. And... and who I don't did you think cast I that on? Made... Varian? Uh, I cast it on Ibrin. With the promise of not doing shoot in the back again. Didn't you shoot Varian in the back last time? Mm -hmm. Accident happens, <laughs> and that's gonna be my turn. <laughs> I just feel like this, like, power just, like, surged through me. <laughs> Your speed itself. Oh my. Um, <clears throat> these things take no time to act, and they are moving much faster than the zombies were. They're able to make it here in one turn. Uh, and they're going to brandish their battle axe uh, and try and hit Nyla here. Uh, 24. Oh my god. Oh, oh no, I rolled one. <laughs> what do you mean? You take one slashing damage. <laughs> I I want to make uh, make him re-roll that 24 though. Like okay. seeing myself getting hit, I'll, I'll rewind time and the whole... Because I forgot, I forgot to activate my armor, but it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, I did I end your turn before you were done? That might have been my fault. No, 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 no. Okay. Like, I mean, like at the start of the day, I forgot to use a spell slot and stuff like that. But yeah, I'll make him re-roll that 24, which is massive. Natural 20. <laughs> uh, nat one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> he sounds good to me. He whiffs it so hard uh, <clears throat> that uh, he he's kind of like sort of just like his battle axe gets stuck uh in like this crate uh and instead of attacking uh, a second time he's just gonna yank it out it'll be alan's turn step over here and try to stab him in the back okay so would that be flanking so with it uh no it has to be directly yeah. across if you move one so... square to the left you would have flanking right here oh right because he's facing that way my bad sorry um sure i'll go there and i'll do that and what that would be with the advantage well i get advantage anyway it doesn't matter uh I'm gonna try to stab him. Uh, I think Ooh, that might that, hit. That hits? Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. Uh, you get to roll your sneak attack damage as double. So 66. <laughs> okay. Disgusting. Oh my god. Oh, you're making me do a lot of math here. Oh <laughs> my god, that's 33 damage. <laughs> Oh, There's damn. a nat one in there, that. too. Disgusting. Uh, 30... Um, yeah, that's 33 damage. Okay. Uh, He's, uh, you, you cut him real good. He seems a little surprised. I was able to see his, like, lifeless I'm eyes gonna, kind of widen. I'm gonna use whatchamacallit and run back over here. Do you have enough movement for that? I think so, because I moved from here. So that's like 5, 10. That's 10. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, you're good. 20. You're good. I thought you'd yeah, start I from 30, that. Thing. I have 30 movement speed, so. <laughs> okay. That takes up my 30. And that's that'd be all I do. Okay, this guy's gonna scooch forward. He's able to make it here. Lovely. Uh, and he's gonna swing on Mister Ebrin or Varian. I'm sorry. How, how tall are these crates in between us? Um, not super tall, like like four feet. Okay, but we can like see each other over them and stuff. Yeah. You two okay. can. <laughs> 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 these are twice as tall as we are. 
Um, <clears throat> and it's going to attack. It's this Varian. Mm-hmm. Maybe. 18? 18 will hit. Okay, you're going to take 7 slashing damage as he cuts into you with his axe. All right. And he's going to reel around for one more attack. Uh, 23. I think that hits, yeah. You're going to take another 7 slashing. All right. So for the second attack, I see him, I see him like savagely attacking Varian. And the one of the runes on my armor just like ignites and I will use cloud rune on the second attack. And as it's swinging down, it appears to miss. And the other zombie standing next to us like reels like he took the damage. Wait, what? Yeah. Cloud rune is is nutty. You basically redirect an attack oh, wow. to another creature. Yeah, that's crazy. Can it, can it still hit him though? If he's thirty, he's he's yeah. not next to him, so could he really get hit with a melee attack? No. Thirty feet of you. Yeah. So basically, I can just choose a new target for the attack, and the attacker and the new target don't have to be. Just when you are a creature you can see within thirty feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use your reaction to invoke the rune and choose a different creature within thirty feet that isn't the attacker. Using the same using the same attack roll, right? But yeah. I mean, he's not in melee range, so I don't understand how it would uh, still. Hit. So because, because I, the, it, it just magically transfers the attack to a new target, even if they're not adjacent. It says so, regardless of the attack range. Yeah. So yeah, it does. this magic it's... can transfer the attack regardless of the attack's range. I see. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah as long as they're within thirty feet of Ebron, like even if they're literally like way over here. As long as within 30 feet of him, like if I got stuck over here, he could make the attack go over there and hit uh, another creature. So wonky. It's Interesting. So cool. All right. So he'll take the seven. I probably should have done it before he rolled for damage, but okay. it's fine. <clears throat> so the, the one standing in front of now looks real confused as all of a sudden it, like this gash appears on its side. <laughs> Uh, and that is the end of this guy's turn, and it is Ebron's turn. So I'm. Am I able to like move past Nyla at all, or is she in the way? Uh, I th think you can move through Nyla, but you can't move through the enemy. And I can't go right here, like move through here, can I? No, you could step into Nyla space, make an attack, and then like scoot back. But it'll you'll take an attack of opportunity as you scoot back. You know what? I think that's fine. I'm gonna like. <laughs> How tall are you, Nyla? Two feet no. four. I'm just gonna step over Nyla. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And just be like standing directly over her. And let's see, let me look at haste. I will attack with the Warhammer. Okay. Uh, nine does not do it. It's able to deflect your Warhammer hit with its shield. And I will use a bonus action on Shieldmaster again. To attempt to knock prone. Okay. So an athletics check. Uh, it's a 12. Alright. So it saves that. And then I will use the extra action from haste to attack again. Okay. Uh, 12 hits. Four, eight. Okay. And I, I guess I will. Let's see. Okay. 
I will step back again. Okay, and I'll take an attack for opportunity as you step back. Is it... Uh, 22. Yes. Or 5 slashing as it cuts into you. Okay. I believe that brings us to Varian. All right. Um, bonus action. Bring in a little bit of a rage. And I'll have the one in front front of uh, Nyla. Roll deck save. Okay. Dex, dex, I think. Four. Four? Mm-hmm. Okay. Take five points of lightning damage. Poor guy. I'll make my two attacks against the one in front of me. Okay. Uh, 10 does not do it. He's able to deflect your, your blow with the shield. And second strike. 17. 17 does hit. Take 13 points of slashing damage. And... Yeah, that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. <clears throat> uh, the Nyla. Um... <clears throat> I'd like to cast, um, let's see, there it is, I'll cast, um, Rhyme's Binding Eyes, and I can post it, I forgot how big that is, that's a big <coughs> cone. Uh, 30 foot cone, each creature in the air must make a con saving throw on a failed save creature takes 3 to 8 cold and is hindered yeah. by ice for one minute. Yeah, big con. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, I don't see the other one. That's fine. Uh, there you go. Big. Zero. And he has to do saving throw, don't he? Uh, yeah, it looks like a con. I don't... Oh, I'll fix it after. There you go. There you go. It's 16. Can't save. Uh, 25. Oh my god, they're so good. <laughs> they're so mighty and powerful. Um, Does he take damage? He takes half damage. Okay. <clears throat> um, With that done, I'll use my bonus action to do my uh, rabbit hop hopping away behind um uh hebron okay. that's uh, really cool <laughs> and as you hit it with your gold damage right uh, it looks like it is unaffected oh <laughs> that's so useful uh let's see five times my proficiency so yeah i can hop 15 away Jimmy. Mm. Here's fine. Here's fine. And that's going to be my turn. Okay. Uh, the Strogger is just going to move in behind. And he's going to go for Mr. Ebron here. Using his Battle Axe. Uh, swings for a 14. 14 ties my AC. Okay. So, yes. <laughs> I do get, you get a bonus to your AC from... Uh, Aced, I believe, a plus two. Oh, I do. You're right. Doesn't uh, hit. Uh, so it, that means it misses. Okay, and one more. Uh, twelve. So he's gonna miss both times as you're able to like nimbly dodge out of the way. As like stinking, rotting breath, like kind of just blowing in front of you <clears throat> as it roars in frustration. Uh, and it's Alan's turn. Alaric? 
Yeah, yeah sorry. Oh, okay. Hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where'd it go? 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 Okay. Okay, um, I'm just gonna try to stab this guy. Actually, moved up 5, 10, 15, 20. Can I move 20 to here, moving through here? I Are can't really. Being small or no? Get pat. Oh. Being too yeah, big. I'll say that because the squares are a little wonky. You can move around him. Okay, so that was 5, 10, 15, 20. He's facing Varian. Uh, there. Uh, 25 hits. Cool. For 8, and then... Um, 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 um... Is that still the 6? Or no, that was only because you got a nat 20, so it's okay, just a 3d6. Okay, that's, that's what I thought. So, 19? <laughs> okay. <Damn. laughs> and then I'm gonna disengage. Um, here. Okay. <clears throat> and that's it. Uh, we're gonna go to this guy. Uh, who is fighting Mr. Varian, uh, and he's going to take his attacks. Uh, 12 to hit. 12 will miss. And, oh, and at 11. <laughs> uh, he just sort of like roars at you as you're able to <clears throat> remain unharmed. And we're back to Mr. Ebrin. Uh, how damage does this one in front of me look? Still looking all right. Still looking all right. Yeah. Okay. I will. Man, it doesn't matter how many things I throw at these guys. If I don't roll good, like it's just like, oh my god, it's so. I will use my <laughs> other. I will use this my bonus so action. Tough. I thought. As my other rune <laughs> ignites it. in like a fiery glow. Okay. <laughs> and I will use my fire rune on the one directly in front of me. And as it glows, just kind of like out of nowhere, bursting out of fl the floor and even out of like the boxes stacked on either side, these fiery chains leap out. I believe you have to make an attack roll first. Oh, okay, that's fine. I'll yeah. attack first. I'll attack with my Warhammer first. Okay. Alright, yeah, that 19. hits. <coughs> For four. Okay. And now I'll invoke it. It takes an extra 2d6 fire damage, must seed on a strength save. So go ahead and roll the 2d6. So 2d6 fire. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that's... And now a strength saving throw. Uh, yeah, uh, twenty-three. Uh, it sounds like it succeeds. You see him like just flex his undead muscles, and the the chains kind of break off of him, leaving like these nasty bird marks underneath where they wrapped around him. Okay. Uh, and I will use my extra attack action from haste. Okay. Uh, eight it <coughs> will not do it. He's able to kind of dodge underneath you, sort of a little bit more weary of your hammer after the chains burned him. And I will end my turn there. You can make one extra attack since you have uh, since we're level five. I know. Wait, isn't it only a certain amount of times? No, no. I, you should. It's a, it's, 
time. Oh, that's why I haven't been doing it. I thought you could only do it a certain number of times per rest. No. Yeah, oh. it's just once we hit fifth level, you can make just two attacks. Dang every it. Time. That's yeah. why I haven't been doing it this whole combat. Uh, so second wind, I think, is once per long rest. But once you uh, get the two attacks, well, now you can do I feel as many times as you want. Because <laughs> I probably lost out on like five attacks tonight. That's okay. All right. Well, I'll use my extra attack then. That does it. All right. All right. Dang it. Silly. Silly me. He's starting to look pretty messed up as he's been burned and just bludgeoned by your hammer. <clears throat> and he's still able to hold himself up. Well, Fairy even asked me if I had extra attack. I'm like, yeah, I do. <laughs> You're fine. It's okay, Bear. Brings us to Varian. All right. Uh, go ahead and have the one in front of me roll a dexterity saving throw. Four again. It's like one point of lightning damage. Um, and I'll make. Yeah, you know what? I'll make it reckless. Oh! So I'll get advantage on these strikes, but they will have advantage against me. Okay. 23. That hits. Uh, be 10 points of slashing. And then 16 to hit. That also hits? It's like 14 points of slashing. Okay. And that will be my turn. Okay, we're over to Nyla. Um, after making the promise I'm not shooting someone in the back <laughs> again, uh, she, she uh, she's going to be a bit paranoid about uh, taking a shot, even though she's behind someone in the safety. So she's going to do I'll, I'll do, I'll do magic missile, but I'll cast it at level two. Ooh. And so meaning all four missiles is going to be uh, for the one in front of Ebrin. Okay. Spam. There you go. Uh, eight, ten, thirteen? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He gets blasted by your magic missiles. Still standing, but he's looking real hurt now. It's like gasping for breath. It looks like he's barely able to hold up his sword. Um, and that's going to be my turn. Okay. Uh, as he starts his turn, uh, he lets out this just loud roar. Um, and his body begins to change and morph. Hmm. And he grows a size bigger. Oh. Just completely smashing the stairs that were next to him as his body forces itself into it. Uh, okay. Uh, and now it's sort of, you know, a little taller than uh, <laughs> than uh, Big Giant Ebron over here as it swings down on him with his battle axe. 18 to hit. Uh, 18 does hit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to take 8 damage. It slashes into you. Alright, I'm going to take one more attack. Uh, 13, which I believe is just under your AC with haste. Yes. Okay. In that time it's a miss as he's getting to his bigger, taller self. We are around to Alarin. Mm. Stabby. Oh, oh my god. Christ. You're welcome. Yeah, alright. Roll this, roll the, whatever it is, the 66. Oh my god. I can hate. Oh my god. Ah, 30, what did I play this game? 
Do I have <laughs> like frost a... kebabs now? Hold on, I gotta do math. This is too much for my little pea brain. Oh. <laughs> Do I have frost? <laughs> I don't want to play yet? no more. I'm doing math. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> he moved. Uh, no, he's still alive. Oh, he's still alive. Okay, that's impressive. He's looking. I'm impressed. Quite hurt. Um. <laughs> um. <laughs> My smooth brain could not add those numbers together for some reason. <laughs> um, um, oh god, I want to do something else. I don't think there's anything I can do, though. Eh. I don't, because I don't get a second a a attack. I, 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 Two nat 20s, I, absolutely I, disgusting. I go back here. <laughs> That's that's all I can do. My poor my poor baby undeads. All right. Let's go up, stab <coughs> them and run away. Uh, this guy is also gonna let out a roar like the other one did as his body begins to shift and change, also smashing these stairs. Uh, and he sort of looms over you, and I believe he gets advantage. Yes. Yeah. Hey, that's an eighteen. 18 advantage for what? Uh, since I went reckless, I oh, got right, right, right. You're from reckless, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going to be five slashing damage. Five reduced to three? Two? Uh, two. I was round down. Or against okay. you guys. Uh, a second attack, 13. 13 will miss. Ish. Uh, and that is his turn. We are over to Mr. Ebrin. So seeing the, seeing the, <clears throat> the undead, like, grow and giant in front of me, I kind of, like, hunch over for a moment, and I oh, use no, giant he, might. He's got the morb. <laughs> oh, no. And I also I grow one size out. larger. Okay. To match him, trying to balance encounters for this party is rough. Done with this. <laughs> and I never know how to balance it quite right again. I, I need to, that's what I need to work Warhammer. on. Okay. For eight. Uh, does not hit. Okay, I take my extra attack. Okay. Oof, let's go for twenty. I deal seven. Okay. <laughs> And I will deal the extra d6 from Giant Might. Sorry. But you get an extra d6? I get an extra oh, d6 to to damage once per turn. That is enough <coughs> to end him. How, what does that look like as you as you are also now like this giant? Because you're duking it out. I just like swing hard enough to just like splatter him into the ground. <laughs> As he slams into the ground, his body bet morphs back uh, to the size that it was. <clears throat> These stairs uh, that he's under are completely destroyed, and there are more stairs behind you guys, though. That's fine. I, get, I go over here. You want to change your size to large? Just for the, the cool effect of Make how it looks? Big. Yes. Oh, wait. Be I, be boy. I didn't know I had to do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I take the extra attack from haste, mm -hmm. the extra attack action. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Describe it. It it doesn't matter what you roll, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> How many hit points did he have left, Steve? Three. Two. Damn it. Oh, I, so I swing I like poor so I'm so big that I swing horizontally and it clears the top of these boxes and it sends him flying all the way back into the caged off area behind him and it like splatters parts of him through the bars of the cage oh, oh snap nasty just gone <laughs> poof gone oof 
You guys are out of combat. Oh. Okay. Holy shit, this is... It's... Wow. Aaron, do you see that lockbox when you were... Uh, was it, like, back here? Yeah, it was. There's a dead purple-robed figure man back there. Or... Um, I have a request. Mm-hmm. Can we end it here and explore the rest of the ship next time? Yes. Thank you so much for watching. And again, we are playing this live on Twitch, so if you ever want to see any of this unfold as it happens, uh, come drop by the stream. Also, all of our players are fellow streamers, and if you like what you heard, please go check them out. They are all absolutely fantastic folks. I'll have links to their Twitch pages down in the description below as well. Uh, thanks again, and I hope to catch you all next time. Have a good one.